Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey guys, my name is Chris and I'm the Parker Students Coordinator. Today we're going to be diving into 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 7 through 11. And I'm going to read that right from my Bible. The end of the world is coming soon. Therefore, be earnest and disciplined in your prayers. Most important of all, continue to show deep love for each other, for love covers a multitude of sins. Cheerfully share your home with those who need a meal or a place to stay. God has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them well to serve one another. Do you have the gift of speaking? Then speak as though God himself were speaking through you. Do you have the gift of helping others? Do it with all the strength and energy that God supplies. Then everything you do will be bring glory to God through Jesus Christ. All glory and power to him forever and ever. Amen. Okay, so what this scripture is communicating is that life here on earth is short. Like Peter said, right? Jesus is coming back soon when he was talking about the world is ending soon. Why waste your life on temporary highs like getting plastered on the weekends or by messing around with sexual sin regularly? Those highs only last a little while and can lead to eternal destruction. Instead, live your life to the fullest by living for Jesus. Even though your time here on earth is short, don't waste it by living for the world's pleasures. Living for Jesus is eternal eternal and you get to bless others when you live for Jesus. While we're here on this earth, Jesus wants us to bless other people by using the gifts he's given us. He doesn't want them to go to waste. What are some gifts that Jesus has given you? Maybe you can think of some right now. Are you gifted at speaking? Maybe you're supposed to encourage people by sharing your testimony at church. Do you have the gift of hospitality? Maybe you're supposed to host a foreign exchange student. Are you passionate about prayer? Maybe you're supposed to join the prayer team. Do you love kids? Maybe you're supposed to join the Calvary Kids ministry team or the student ministry team. Whatever your gift is, don't take it for granted. Let Jesus use you while you're here on this earth for a short period of time to bless other people. Choose to bless others in this life instead of living a life of destruction. Today, Ask God how he can use your gifts to bless others and to keep you humble as he uses you. Have a great day. Bye.